from this to that from a little bit of an almost organized mess that eventually gets us to a shopping trip that finally helps us to get to a point of where we've done something like this taking you with me to Dollar Tree so that we can find items to help us do projects like this and a little bit of that with a little bit more of this. After collecting this footage over the span of an entire month, I'm giving you all the best 24 minutes that I hope will help you to organize and spice up your kitchen and restroom just a little bit. Keeping it classy, we can't forget the intro. Hey y'all, it's all of destiny. Don't forget to watch all the way to the end. So let us start off underneath the bathroom cabinet. Or we're not underneath the cabinet, but my products are stored underneath the bathroom counter. This is a quick glance at what is almost sort of organized, but can definitely be a little bit better. Certain products that I reach for either daily or nightly, or if not daily or nightly, I reach for them often throughout the week. Instead of putting them in the closet, I like them underneath the cabinet. I picked up this two-tier cabinet drawer organizer from Ross for about 16 bucks, and this is going to help me to get this space all the way together. You can definitely pause and read if you would like to know more about the dimensions and whatever else intrigues your mind about this product. Quick little overview of what we're working with before we begin. And I'm just going to quickly snatch everything out of there, wipe it down a little bit, you know, get it all cleaned up before I begin to either go through my products and then decide what I want to put back and put inside of the organizer. My neck, I lead it up. And with this product, there is no assembly required. Just remove all of the plastic. And then if you don't want to secure it down using the screws provided, you just apply the rubber grips to the bottom. Oh, look, yes. Oh, I see why you can like melt it down just so it don't do that. Well, if you put it up on the wall, then it won't move. I went ahead and put all of the products back and now this is the after. As far as the hot tools over the door hanger as well as the other shelf, both of those I brought with me when I moved out of my parents house so I don't really recall where they're from. But I did put some of my skincare products along the top and then a few things like makeup remover wipes which hazel alcohol and contact solution are along the bottom. I like a shelf like this because it allows you to maximize your under the cabinet storage by having that extra level to go up with your space. So this was all that I did for a while. Now two weeks later I did go shopping for a few other things to help with these projects that I will show to you all now. Hello. Okie dokie. Opa. Viva la raza. Que pasa. Since my vlog break is over, I figured I would show you all what I got today. Even though I didn't take you all with me to get these things. I saw Home Goods. Went to Home Goods for the first time today, believe it or not. I go to all of these home stores looking for stuff and I hadn't been to home goods yet. Can't believe it. And at the last minute, browsing the candle holder section, I saw these three piece candles. I want to put this in my restroom. I may have overlays. It's 2020 now. My Edison should be on point. Um, it's the three chandeliers. I don't know what that says. Regeshka crystal. Who knows? But the rest says chandeliers. So, y'all. You could either put the little skinny ones in there, but I have LED candles that look like this. It was on clearance for $39.99 and it was regular $49.99. Uh, basically $10 off and it's three of them. So and that was really good. These are placemats. They're like really glamorous. Actually, it says Sparkles Home. If you all remember in Vlogmas where I put like different placemats under where I had set up the hot cocoa station. Like you sit this and then you put your stuff on top. I may, since I have two of these, put them where the bar stools are because that's not really set. So I may just put these cute sparkly things there. Or my plan for using them was to sit underneath like where I store my fruit and my bananas. And then maybe I'll see where I want to put the other one. Hopefully I have overlays of all of this, whatever I decide. It's not just glittery. These are maybe like Swarovski's if the camera is picking that up. And these were $7.99 each. Most of them come as a set, like a four piece table or a six piece. So I was glad that I could purchase these individually. Home goods as well. And okay, this is my wrapped up stuff. 
so let me be careful another one of my candles i had one random one sitting on my dresser so i decided instead to sit it over inside of this i was debating if i wanted the silver one only you know how when we decorate our rooms we think about the decor and what colors are already in there but i really couldn't resist this one it's super cute it's just a candle holder sure i love led candles i can fall asleep and not have to worry about putting them out you know i have scented ones that i actually like but just for the aesthetic of those coming on and then they go off on their own get you some led candles i got mine from the at home store you know how you just see random cute things and it's like i just want this and i actually may sit this on the bookcase in our living room or maybe somewhere in my bedroom before i rip the tag off in case y'all want to try to find it like you know how you type the brand of something in online and you may find it elsewhere that's really why i like spend so much time running my mouth because i really be trying to help y'all let me show it because somebody's gonna ask and i'm gonna have to spend time trying to explain later so i'll try to explain it the front. so before i throw out the box guys i thought i would let you all know chandelier the english is on the back haha -ha, candle sticks let's get a little asmr so this is what we're working with on the top of the counter space i'm going to clean off the mirror clean off the counter and begin decorating everything so i did put a lot of this stuff on the bottom inside of our drawer that we have now the flowers i picked up from either ross or tj maxx for about seven bucks on clearance i already had the vase it's from dollar tree they have these ones in there all the time even flowers too if you want to do a Dollar Tree DIY for your entire flower arrangement. The uh, perfume tray I got from Burlington a while ago when we first moved, if you all keep up with those vlogs, as well as the matching soap dispensers. So for a while, I had left the counter like this um, before I picked up the candlesticks that I showed you all in the haul portion. I also got this little bejeweled strip from Dollar Tree as well. I'm gonna use my hot glue gun, which is from Walmart, to basically glue this onto there I asked the opinions of three different people and they all voted for me to do two layers of this and to space them out so definitely get opinions from your family and friends if you would like and I'm going to use scissors to cut off the excess very neatly and voila that's what we have and I left the counter space like this for a while but then a few weeks after that <laughs> Um, I picked up this candle from TJ Maxx and sometimes if the candle doesn't match my decor I just turn it around to hide the sticker so that's pretty much the way I decorated my bathroom counter space. It looks pretty simple the way I've edited and chopped it up like this. But we moved out about a year ago and I'm just now getting this little section finished. Just because I swapped things out so much. The LED strips that's along the mirror. My sister Bone gifted this to me when we first moved out. You just peel off the sticky that was on the back and attach it along the mirror. I have two different remotes for the candles just because they're two different two packs um that i purchased at two different times the perfume tray is from burlington as well as the matching soap dish and then the cotton balls are from dollar tree and i think i mentioned where everything else was from already and finally this is what my bathroom space looks like and i absolutely love it any links that i can find for you all for everything similar will be down below this is accidentally turning into my bathroom counter tour, but it's cool. The phone holder is from Amazon. Shout out to you if you saw my things I purchased from Amazon that you should purchase too video. The link will be down below. The other counter holder that didn't come in the three-piece set came from TJ Maxx for only four bucks. Key items to have if you want to get a cute bathroom counter space would be a perfume tray with a matching soap dish, a floral arrangement, and candles. I used to Google lots of images on bathroom counter decor, and they would always have one of those four things in the mix. Now, let's work on the kitchen. One, everything is still cold. That's what I like about the winter. So sometimes time. I have a lot of different things going on when I'm filming, and grocery shopping was one of those things. But to keep this content organized by topics, I decided to pull out the grocery footage, and that's gonna be a separate vlog just to keep all of the DIY stuff together. This footage also took place a month later, but for whatever reason, I still You'll reach for that same orange yeah, sweater just sit here on the stool and chat with y'all then that's it for all of the food as far as everything else i'll put that away i guess once i get back i guess i get to test out my roll mic too since it's still right here near this vent i don't know why i put the camera right here made a list of the different types of bins that i want to get i want a cute bin for the tea bags here i can get the overlay clip on this camera Right now, they're basically just kind of still in the boxes, but if I can find something that kind of fits the size of a tea bag, then I can line them up that way. Then I can slide it up to see what type it is. I still like the section that it's in on top of the baker's rack. I don't want everything in the pantry because some things are out of sight, out of mind. I like to be able to see my tea so that I can grab it. I have bins slash baskets for the oatmeal packets and my grits labeled so that I can at least label it. Another bin for the chips slash popcorn bags or the actual bags, not the microwave kind. 
the Boom Chicka Pop. That's something for the water bottles. It's just all at the bottom down there. I think in another vlog I talked about why I don't like to purchase water, but I purchase water. Short version is just like now, look at this. It's sitting out while I'm like doing groceries and stuff. So I see it and I reach for it. Better than me getting the glass to go to the sink. This keeps it in mind for me to drink. another one down and this is why I have to do clean with me videos why do you throw stuff you just junk up your house for the camera is that what you do <laughs> yes destiny of course <laughs> dramatic effects why not let's go to Dollar Tree and I'm gonna take this one this one is entirely too big to take to Dollar Tree grocery shopping actually inspired me to want to organize the things that I had purchased in a better way but first we're gonna stop at Dollar General I don't see anything this but i've seen this at dollar tree before so i'm not gonna get it here i just knew they would have bins i saw bins somewhere before i can't remember where i saw them at no look in dollar general wasted time but i wanted to go in there and glance because i know dollar tree i go in there often well <laughs> if you go to dollar tree even just a little bit you know what kinds of things they have in there so i just wanted yeah, to glance other way first i'll be listening to people on live if i can't watch them at the moment let's make this quick because it's sprinkling a little bit Hmm. It's a little junky. I don't want my tea in it. So I found this on a different aisle. Hmm. I feel like my tea could go in ease, but I don't know if I want it to be white or not. Or maybe it should be black since it's sitting on like a black thing. This is cute. They could go in here. That's really all I see. Stackable one. This would look nice. I just don't like the color on it. So I actually found this longer one, but I think all of my tea will fit in instead. I'm only having look finding things for my tea. So of course you could go to stores like the Container Store to walk right in, get what you need to head out. But then again, you could also check Dollar Tree and Family Dollar and Dollar General and see what they have before you head to that store, which is probably what I'll do if I want to decorate the pantry really in depth. Family Dollar did have a lot of the same things that Dollar General had, majority of the $3 bins. Oh, Beyonce, don't give me no strain. Warning, do not let the system distract you from the private situation. It don't never let me mute until after it's done warning me that every time you cut the car on, it gives you a disclaimer. So I have to use the restroom. We gotta leave. I asked if they had a restroom. I guess because she didn't see me with my basket at first, so she was like, not one for the public because I left my basket on the aisle that I was on. And then, this is gonna fall. I just know it. We're gonna see. Might not. So I was like, not even for customers because I was gonna let her know I am shopping. I just left my basket on the other aisle. It's literally two cars in y'all lot, so ain't nobody gonna take it. And so she was like, nah, the way our toilet set up. And I was like, ah, oh, okay then. So I guess they don't want people to see the toilet. Family Dollar would rather the employees deal with it than to have customers go in there and complain and say, y'all know the toilet is like that. But if I work there, she say so I can't assume. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I know y'all mad at me. Y'all like drop me off, take me home right now. But no, you need to stay. Let me at least show you how I'm going to do the rest of the kitchen organization. This is the before of my little tea display. Sitting over on the baker's rack and then I would just open the box, get out what I want. I decided to purchase more than what I think I would want while I was at Dollar Tree. That way I have options when I get back home. We like options, don't we? All of my tea I get at Kroger, by the way, either the yoga tea or just different ones. If I read it and I say, oh, I want this kind. Why? You know, we like options, variety. I want to try different tea every day. <laughs> so I'm going to drink at night, sort of like the slim tea, the detox or the bedtime. And then I reach for other ones uh, during the morning, like my seasonal sampler that I'm still trying to finish because holiday season is officially over. Taking those out of the box and they fit perfectly into this longer little tray that we got from Dollar Tree. Also, if you like your things sort of put away off camera, I check to see if these fit into my kitchen drawers and they absolutely do, but I want mine out on display so that I won't tuck them away and then just forget that I like tea. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I did with that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the clear container as well. This one has like a little three compartments on it and also a lid depending on what you put inside. You'll be able to put the lid back on top. I'm just gonna keep mine on the bottom in case I ever use this for something different. The tea fit inside of this both ways probably because it's like a perfect square. I'm just going to put the tea in there three different types like so and now this is what we have but to spice that up a little bit further also 
the Baker's Rec is from the at home store. If you keep up with my shopping vlogs since moving, we went and purchased this together. I picked up this little glam strip. This is the same one we used in the bathroom on the little flower display, but I moved these clips around for your viewing pleasure. I want to go ahead and glue that along this little tray. That was a dollar. And the little glam strip was also a dollar. Using the same little hot glue gun from Walmart and then the glue sticks I also find at Dollar Tree occasionally as well. I'm checking to see how I want to position that before I go straight in gluing it on. Basically you're just going to add the glue, press the strip into it, keep doing that all the way around. I use the little roll from the strip since the glue was hot just to kind of smudge everything together and then I'm going to cut off the excess. I didn't bother going up a second time with this just because I didn't really want to. Couldn't find my scissors but the end of this little tape cutter basically took that off perfectly for me and voila two bucks. Maybe you could purchase this but maybe you could DIY it for two dollars. In my mind I pictured this idea looking better on the clear acrylic containers than the other black trays that we purchased so I decided to leave them as is. As far as me deciding which tea I drink some of them are already labeled like the one that says bedtime. I wouldn't drink that in the morning. Kind of pick teas based on what I think I want to drink at the moment. I do get questions every time I post these to Instagram. I only do about one to two spoons of sugar in all of my tea. So I'm going to repeat this same process with the grits and the oatmeal. The trays are from Dollar Tree as well. You actually get two in this one for a book so that's pretty cool. I'm going to basically do grits on one side, oatmeal on the other and I'll sit this back inside of the pantry. By having them out like this it helps me to see when I'm almost running out especially because I love grits and I never want to run out so it helps me to go and get more. And not only that, I like the look of this compared to all of the boxes inside of the pantry. And you don't have to only do this with oatmeal, you can do this with a variety of products. Voila, this is what we have. Repeating the same process with our honey buns and our oatmeal pies. I'm just going to put oatmeal on one side and then the honey buns on the other side. Another thing I like about this too, some people are bougie. They only like name brand products. If you take it out of the box and they go into your pantry and get it, they don't know what they're eating, but they absolutely love it. Also, you shouldn't have people at your house that would complain about what you give them in the first place. My company, Family and Visitors, would never, but just in case yours would, that's a little tip. Stocking up on your snacks can definitely be expensive when you want to fill up the entire pantry, which is why I like to go to Dollar Tree and then just kind of have a mix of some name brand items in there. That way I can splurge my money on things like, you know, seafood and crab legs and red lobster and juicy crab. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the water and I'm just going to put that in the bottom of the pantry, which is normally where we kept it inside of the original packaging. You can definitely just put your water in the fridge and skip this all together, but since I like mine's room temp, this works for us. Okay, so let's tackle the chips bin, or should I say the Boom Chicka Pop bin. <laughs> I get these from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to go ahead and put all of them in here. You can put your chips, basically everything that's in the same category, go into these little bins together. I grabbed these once at TJ Maxx just while I was shopping, but they're disgusting. But hey, someone else may like them, or I'll purposely offer them to someone you know as a little joke and that is pretty much it for the way I've organized a few things around the house I'm not completely finished with the pantry which is why I didn't bother showing you all the end result because it's not an end result just yet okay so the rest of the haul will include the other DIY projects that I have to show you all this one is in Ladyport. Oh, so if you do live in Memphis, this is the Sam's Beauty Supply Store, not sponsored at all, because y'all were asking me for the address last time, so you're only gonna hear it here once, okay? <laughs> 1633 Madison Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee, 38104. It's the Diva Nails & Spa. That's what it's a build to. So I wanna do more nails tutorials this year. I got these deluxe crystals as well as these so these are like rectangles and then these are oh what you call it the words on the screen i bet i know by the time i'm editing they're not like a flat color like when they turn in the sun and when you like do like this to show your nails on instagram they catch the light really pretty i need to do a pedicure so i did pick up this petty in a box just to try something different from the standard thing i always use this is the bubbly spot it comes with bubbly soak sugar scrub bubble mask and massage butters be on the lookout for a pedicure tutorial coming soon it may already be out i don't know what order i'm editing in but when my sister boone did our mom's makeup over on her channel she had like a little fish thing like this that she was applying the foundation with and i saw this when i was in there and it made me think a bonus video so I got one because I like how it applied the foundation without soaking it up I think a little dense brush like this can get it open and it comes in a cute case too oh that's really bougie wow what in the did y'all see that 
Okay, and besides those, we good here. And I bought my mom like a pyramid style thing, and this was just trash that was in my car that I wanted to bring in. By the way, if y'all want to know what I put on my lips, it's my favorite lip butter. It's from Pure One. My cousin got me this for my birthday, my 28th birthday, and it lasts a really long time. Oh, this is irrelevant. <laughs> just some stuff I picked up for church, a new uh, Sunday school recording book for me to like record the minutes and everything in. This is some more envelopes. If y'all care to know about that. Randomly, while I've been on my break, I was at the beauty supply store. This is just sitting out, so I figured I would show it. This is gonna come in handy one day when I wanna wear a wig, but I don't wanna lay my edges. I'm just gonna put this on. It's all fluffy and cute. Black hat, all of my lace, okay? And then just curl the ends. Boom. Let me know if you want a video on this. How to finesse and make it make it look like you did your hair. I also randomly one day, I'm just showing y'all this stuff on my bed because I haven't figured out where I want it to go yet. Because the greenery that's in here doesn't really get picked up on the camera. These were at Ikea. They're $9.99 a piece. I was thinking, I don't know, maybe putting them in a vase or something. Little rope lights. I don't think I'm going to put them in a vase like this, but I got these while I was there as well. I didn't have to use any nails or screws to kind of rig this up behind the mirror. And then I just basically set the battery pack behind the plant that's on my shelf. These are on an automatic timer. So since I turned mine on at 6 o'clock p.m., that's the time they come on daily. The price isn't on this. I didn't get this stuff today. I just put them on the bed the way these are. Why aren't they on? It's 2020. You're supposed to have better content. Yesterday, also, I went to... Let me see what the tag says. TJ Maxx, I grabbed this. This is the Too Faced Twinkle Twinkle Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. And I just opened it and looked at it in the store because... Look at that. How cute. Hold on, it's 2020. I'm a guru now. Oh, no, I'm not. You can't see it. <laughs> this is like eyeshadow. After I finish blending in my crease, I just you can take one like this, and it's already on the thing. You can just slap it on. Thinking about using this for Valentine's Day. If I'm not late with my content, it's probably not already Valentine's Day. Hi. Up close and personal 2020 destiny. A little black black. I want to shave my face on. I sometimes get the peach fuzz off of my face. Velvet touch-up razors. It's just a six-pack. I got these. They had some cute colorful ones. These looked the most aesthetically pleasing to me. I'm pulling out my drawer showing y'all other stuff that's just randomly in here that I haven't showed y'all because I've been on break. I got this at the beauty supply store. Let me know if y'all have used this. I'm thinking about maybe trying to cut crease for Valentine's Day, something dramatic. Or I'm thinking about doing, well, it might already be out by now. Eyeshadow base by magic collection the top portion is just the little brush and then the bottom is the actual product so you want to screw this part and then this is the little brush i'm a guru in 2020 no i'm not and then this is the actual base product right here that you'll dip into even out your eyelids a couple of weeks ago i actually bought this brush because i wanted a new type of maybe foundation brush it face buff and blends it tells you the different things that it's ideal for but i won't waste time reading all of that i forgot why did i buy the little cute fish one either way different days for doing makeup different brushes to reach for what else did i buy lots of stuff that's already put away at this point but that's my haul for recently yesterday today and stuff that's still out that i wanted to show you all i don't know where we are in the vlog as far as what i'm collecting but just in case that's pretty much it for this video guys and I'll talk to you all in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. My hair was like that the whole time. I'm hot and I heard the time for the pieces. So I'm gonna go now. Bye. I would like for it to be known that the bags you get at Dollar Tree are bigger than the six packs that you get at Kroger. But I mean, you paying a dollar a bag. How much? Three dollars. It was three. Come in, Mr. Lincoln. You gonna be a vlogger? Like Coco? You know, Coco, I love you. Love you. I love you too. I don't like how my belt makes me look. It's 2020. Don't try it. I have a whole trainer.